All right, so this is the Squart Pyramid, and we're gonna to talk today about these custom smart pads and how to program your own chords uh, into those smart pads. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of create um, a blank track where we can play with this. So I've got, let's see if you can see this, I've got a Juno module that I'm playing through the Squar Pyramid using um, the Fishman Triple Play guitar wireless system. And I've done videos about that. That's a cool thing that basically allows you to use any electric guitar as a MIDI controller. So let's get a patch going. That's uh There you go, patch on the Juno. So now, if you're familiar at all with the way the smart pads work, basically in live mode, you can use these bottom pads as either like a scale chromatically, as a repeat, or to play chords. And the built-in chords are pretty basic, um, normal stuff. Here's a C major scale, and as you can see, C major, um, C major, D minor, E minor, F major. You know, nice enough. You can get some inversions if you hold this down, you know, more complicated varieties of the chords in, the, in that scale. You can get kind of the weirdest is like these blues chords. I think it's maybe you know, some sort of dominant seventh thing going on. That's cool, but what if you want to make your own chords, especially for me, if you're playing like guitar chord inversions and you want to, you know, get them into the sequencer on these pads so that you can then work with them there, it's uh, a really nice thing. So the way you do it is you hold down live and just turn the main encoder until you get to a custom chord. And you have the ability to make, I think it's 32 total because you can make eight um, custom smart chords through four banks. So you have the ability to make 32 total custom smart pads. That's in the manual. But let's just go through how you do it. Basically what I'm gonna do is play a chord on my guitar. And that's just like an E minor triad. And I'm doing that, you know, because I've got the Fishman system running into this. I'm playing that on my guitar. So what, you do, I, what I did there is just play the chord and then hit the second button and the pad that I want it to go on. Okay, so now I can move on to something else, but I've got those particular inver inversions and I've also got them laid out in like a progression. So it's very simple to go. And I don't have to worry about actually knowing how to play the keyboard. Um, and then of course, what you could do with this is, you know, you've got the ability to apply all the MIDI effects that you might want to apply. So let's,
that's basically it. Um, and I just think it's a very cool thing you can do to kind of expand the sequencer and make just getting an idea down a lot easier um, this way, especially if you're like me and have like a MIDI guitar system going. So I don't have to like think to translate all of my guitar inversions to like a MIDI keyboard. I can just play them right into the sequencer and literally then have them on individualized pads and just lay your progression out that way. It's a great way to get, um, you know, an inspiring workflow. So comment down below. Let me know if you have any thoughts or questions on that and enjoy.